We're doing this, man. We're making this happen. We are doing this. This is Rogue Warrior. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Dick Marchenko, Rogue Warrior. <laughs> Dick. Uh, this game is by Rebellion. Uh, they made the last game that I played called Shellshock 2. Oh, by the way, I should probably say I'm Haberman and... This is Bond Stick. Everyone's favorite co-commentator from that aforementioned LP. Yeah, everyone loved me. Can I talk like this? So look at all these settings, man. I'm going through these settings. I'm showing off my, uh, the settings we're playing this on. I turned off motion blur. Why is the shadow set to medium? You can't take this game? Because it's just too intense. And I think these volume settings are fine. Wait, hold on. No, they're clearly not. Let me turn up the one, the most important volume of the game. There we go. Yes, yes. Okay, so some of you may have heard of this game from, uh... Giant Bomb. That, I think that's where most people heard of it. Multiplayer mode is... We'll get to that later. Uh, but, uh... Yeah, most of you may have heard about this game from Giant Bomb. They did a quick look of it that was pretty well received on each I don't care about overwriting my save. I think you're fucking special, huh? We are fucking special. Bring it on, motherfuckers. You're a pussy, select this one. So it's this really a classy, charming game that we're going to be playing on Elites because this game is so fucking easy. Fucking, by the way. Uh, look, look at the name. Oh, dude, dude, that stands uh -huh. for Situation Normal all fucked up. <laughs> the F is for fuck. So we're going to keep a running tally of how many times to say fuck in this game. Which is a lot. Uh, and when they say fuck, I mean, I, the acronym doesn't count. Just, just dick. Demo dick saying it. So anyway, for those of you who didn't watch a giant bomb quick look, uh, I would recommend watching that. Yeah, they do better commentary than us by like tenfold. Spec warrior, one who gives a fuck. That's All right, there we go. First one. Whether I'm prowling, <laughs> open up proper. Full fucking Faulkner with lots of sound and fury. Man, I like to say fuck a lot because I'm so hard. Job done. Today that means. So this is our player character, Dick Marchenko. He is a real person in real life who started, uh, who founded Navy Seal Team Six, I think they're called. So he he's seen some shit. He tells me the mission is beyond classified. Yeah. So I'm running a Was the real guy this profane, or do they embellish that? I'm not sure. I, I will admit to you, I have not read the World Warrior book. I trained these men. That is a big ass cigar. Saved my ugly ass more than once. Yep. They're dirt bags and hard motherfuckers. I like how they synced up motherfuckers with him flipping the guy off. That's that's so intense. As like a double dose of vulgar. A mole inside the North Korean regime has intel on a munitions factory producing a new breed of missile. My orders. Yeah, we know all this because I, I sat through the mission briefing on the uh, on the loading screen. I think I'm the only person who ever read that. Typical snoop and poop. Also, this is officially a snoop and poop operation. One thing I learned: it's a thin line between a simple op and a total go fight. All right, so uh, I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna die. Yeah, I think. I think the whole point of this sequence, Rebellion was like, okay, well, we, we can't have squad in this game. We can't have a squad following you. That's way too difficult to program. So let's just get rid of your teammates as soon as possible. Yep. Witchy? Or, you know, they could have just wrote it so that it was just him, you know? I don't know. But, but no. But no. They, they need to have this so it could just toss you right into the shit, man. See, this game, as you just heard, has the greatest sound effects ever. The <laughs> body. They sound very realistic. The, the two, there's actually one sound effect for every gun. They just loop it over and over again. This is quality. Oh, and oh, they're what's they're that? Probably, they're probably all box sound effects to begin with. <laughs> Would not be surprised. You know, I think they had a bit of time to run away. I mean, grenades usually have four second fuses. I think that's... Anyway, they just need to write those characters off, so there you go. Good job, Rebellion. Commander, this is Peyton. What's your status? It's a total goat fuck. God goat fuck is his favorite swear, I think. My men are dead. Jesus Christ! Abort! Fuck no! Fuck no! So okay, look at this draw distance. <laughs> that is A plus shit right there. <laughs> so this is the beginning of the gameplay. Uh, this game uh, is it, it pretends to be a stealth game because you can do kill moves on dudes if you sneak up on them. And, and to that end, you can also uh, shoot out lights to be super stealthy, but it's, it's really kind of pointless. But that won't stop me from doing it. This is Siphon... Uh, shit, what's the name of that series that's popular that has stealth? Splinter Cell. This is, this is not Splinter Cell. Also, no one can hear you when you, uh, with your crouching, standing up 
tall, no one can hear you do anything. They can hear that, though. Just because it was right next to him, I think. He didn't hear the other lights breaking, but he heard that one. Lights out, motherfucker. <laughs> Make sure to count that one. He, he always says something really witty whenever he does something. Like, he throws a grenade and he says something witty. Or you do a kill move and he says something witty. So, the kill moves are uh, totally randomized. Whichever one... It, it, there's 20 of them and they pick them at random. Sometimes, because he's right next to that wall, you can smash his skull into the wall. And right. that gives you an achievement, but sometimes yeah, it doesn't. Crawling with KPA. So, you know, it's luck of the draw with that. I do like how all of the uh, soldiers look the exact same. They have that hat, and they have their... State. Well, that's social commentary, I think. It is, it's just a message about how they, they all... They're all, the they're all automatons, you know? They don't have free will, because they've been brainwashed. By the communist regime. Fuck the commies. Cockbreath commie motherfuckers. That is the, my favorite line in this whole <laughs> series. <laughs> Mine is in this episode, but it's not that one. Oh, but... uh, he, he, he tries to be very stealthy by, by shooting out the lights so no one can see him. But then he puts on the, the fucking splinter cell goggles. But after he tr after he tries to be stealthy, he just yells out, "Fucking cook, breath, call me with the fuckers!" It's like it's a bit jarring. It's a bit uh, counterproductive. Anyway, I take those things off because they're useless. Oh, this is me playing, by the way. I should point out that we're taking turns here. Uh, that I will be playing this level, and then Pawn Stick will be playing the next level. Yep, we are. And I think you're going to play with the controller you said you were going to do? I said I was going to play with the controller. I wanted to be purist. I wanted to see what it was like to play this game on the console. Luckily, this was not affected by us shooting at the generator. I don't know how that works quite, but, uh, you know, that electronic door. Rock and roll, motherfuckers. Rock and roll. We get an achievement for this. By the way, we're going to go for every achievement in the game. Yeah. And that one was called Over the Top. You get it for tossing a guy over a ledge. So anyway, the game wants to use a sniper rifle, but I already have a sniper rifle. Your pistol. No, no joke, the pistol is the best gun in the game. Drop dead, motherfucker, you fucking amateurs. That was my favorite line, by the way. Uh, no, my, right favorite line, my favorite line, I think, will come up soon. So anyway, uh, the pistol uh, Damn, is... Fuckers suck ass. Is fucking ridiculous. It does good ass... It doesn't do the best damage in the game, but you can fire quick enough, and it reloads quick enough, and it's completely accurate. Another thing that carried over from Shell Shock is the fact that none of the guns have real recoil. So you can just keep firing, and it doesn't matter. Oh, also, read this tooltip. Pork and left stick. What? What stick? I... What are you talking about? The left stick... The left stick is... What the... <laughs> Whoa. The ragdolls in this game uh, don't don't quite work sometimes. Are those so Havoc... I... Are those Havoc ragdolls? Is that the uh, Euphoria engine, or... <laughs> uh, might as well be. God. So any of these guys are scripted to come out of the store. Bring the noise, bitch. Oh, yeah, this also has a cover system. It does. That it does. <laughs> and uh, I'll demonstrate how smooth the animations are from behind cover in just a second. After I take this co cock breath con motherfucker out. Yep. Because all communists are homosexual. And they, and they enjoy sucking cock. And they, and they don't like brushing either, so the smell of cock is constantly on their breath. Well, you know, toothbrushes cost a lot in Korea. This takes place in North Korea, right? Or, I don't know. Might as well. Anyway, look at that smooth-ass animation. Uh, one thing I should also point out, uh, this game constantly runs between 19 and 24 frames per second. So, uh, like, even if like, you're playing on lowest settings, it's that low, I think. That means I must have done it intentionally, I think. It's my best guess. That or this is just a console port, you don't know. I mean, you saw how I said left stick. <laughs> yeah, they forgot to take that one out. <laughs> So look at these de look at these detailed environments. <laughs> yeah, I think mean, like you mean linear as shit environments. Yeah, there is a staircase there, but let's block it off to make sure they don't accidentally think they can go that way. I don't know why exactly they blocked off. I mean, I, I I'm assuming that these guys. What is? I I don't understand history. Was there like a, a revolution or something? Is that why the fuck? Why is it man, blocked man, off? Man, I don't. Cool that mess. It's like their own building. Why would they seal off their own staircase? I do not get that. Anyway, the game wants to use grenade here, and I don't because I was trying to go for the pistols only achievement here. But uh, if you use a grenade, he he has one specific scripted line here, where he says, uh, "Send me the bill, motherfuckers." When you blow up the cars with the grenade, he doesn't say "Send me the bill, motherfucker." He says, "Send me the bill, motherfuckers." Yes, yeah, my bad. I fucked that up. I'm sorry. So anyway, there's all these guns here, but as I said, I'm I'm doing this pistols only. 
because there's an achievement for that, and because the pistol is also the best gun in the game. So uh, it has infinite ammo, you know. Dick Marchenko, he he shows for some restraint here. That he's not shown other portions of the game. Also, that, that that's a glitch. Sometimes when after you're finished reloading, the pistol will automatically fire off a shot, or some other guns will fire off a shot automatically, and you can't stop it. So uh, that happened there. When after I finished reloading, it fired off a shot that I didn't want it to. I like how whenever and, you get hit, he's like fucking assholes. But it's like you're shooting at them. Of course they're gonna shoot back. I mean, don't get don't get angry. All right. Oh, camera. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Not sure what happened there. Did, is he? Did, was he like stuck in between the wall? Shit. I think the camera, because it goes into third person for that. It goes into third person for that and for uh, cover. Yeah. Cover, which I don't really use that often. I'll, I'll do it here. But uh, <laughs> more <laughs> just, smooth just animations. Yeah. The, the third person camera it, is not good in this game. I just like how you're dropping all these guys who probably have like bulletproof armor. I don't know if they actually do because it's fucking North Korea, but you drop them in like three shots to the chest. Some of them like take 12 shots. I, I don't know what's with the location damage in this game. It's it's very weird. Uh, here's some more guns. Uh, there There is an achievement for killing everyone with like it, getting at least one kill with every gun in the game, so we will eventually show off those weapons. This is not a pistols only entire game run. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that. Ragdoll had a bit of a problem there too. This guy steps out of this door, so you just assume that you're supposed to go through this door, but in reality it's just an exact carbon copy clone of the room you were just in downstairs, and you, you can't actually go anywhere from here. I don't think he said my favorite line. That's, I, oh my god. Cock breath coming, motherfuckers. I, it, it's, it's a triggered event, but sometimes you miss the trigger for it, which is unfortunate. Cause that no, is... he said, one time he says, bring the noise. No, he said that before when the people came through that door. Oh you my god, it. why did that, motherfuckers. Well, I'm sorry. But that's my favorite line, because like, is that... why is this hardened guy saying "Bring the noise"? That song was not even out yet, as was pointed out by uh, Jeff Gersten Goldblum. I don't know what his name is. Guy from Giant Bomb. And and would a Vietnam veteran really be saying making references to Public Enemy songs? I I don't think so. Well, maybe he's just really hip up with the times. You know, you don't know. He he's a cool dude. He, he seems to cool swear dude. a lot. You know, Dick Barchenko is a pretty cool dude. If this game, you would just think he's a huge dick. Well, he's got a ponytail. Demo I mean, dick. He just does not give a shit. Yo, my name is Dick, and I don't give a fuck. Look at that. Look at those amazing lighting effects got here. This game is not the prettiest game. And it, and the frame rate is reflective of... I don't even know, because graphics aren't that great, so I don't know why the game plays as slow as it does. There's also no anti-aliasing, so everything looks jagged. Yeah, there's not even an option for it. I mean, it just forces anti-aliasing, uh, non-anti-aliasing down your throat. You should have used cover here, man. What's up with that? No, look. Okay, this we're playing this at the hardest difficulty, but it's a cover in this game. I don't need it. I play. In, I prefer to play in first-person mode. I prefer to be able to aim down my sights. I prefer to be able to know exactly where my shot's going. So I will constantly play in first-person. So what's up with the bathtub? Like, why is that? Why do that, they this, like? It's excellent they, cover. They've been waiting just for one guy to, you know, walk through there so he can, they can blow up the wall. Animation is not reflective of what was actually happening. It's not context sensitive. That guy was shooting at me, but in that shot, he was totally unaware I was there. Thought I'd point that out. Glad I could help. Admiral, you read me. Fans. Five by five. Tell me you got there in time. Matter of perspective. I recovered the intel. Oh, he's such a hard ass motherfucker. I'm pretty sure that was a sure excuse to not have that guy talk. That was a sure excuse to not have to write dialogue for the other character. Necessary, destroy it. Marcinko, you copy that? Marcinko's such a hard ass he doesn't even bother responding back to his commander. Respond, damn it! What the hell is going on? Payback. Well, he's got to have this one-liner and show those cock breath commie motherfuckers who the boss is. Paid back. You kill my buddies with a grenade, I'm gonna kill you. Washington called this okay, so two achievements. Murphy. One achievement for beating the level, one achievement for doing it without dying. And I intend to finish what I started. And here's Until the voice for the next for level briefing. I'll, I'll let it finish out. Turning out missiles for the great leader. But uh, anyway, this is just a brief stupid. glimpse of the Rogue Warrior, where I guess we'll talk more about the mechanics and the other guns in the next episode or something. Anyway, Ponce will be playing next episode. Yep, I'll be playing... I'll be playing really pro. See you next time. See you next time as well. Capricorn motherfuckers! I love you all.